If you want to create an API that will interact with your EBS system or your Oracle Form system and will automate any flow that you want on this system and publish it as a REST API, uh, you can use our service manager to record and publish uh, this flow. To do that, you would start with getting into our studio where you will find few recorders that will enable you to capture such flows. In this video, I would like to demo you how you can easily create an API that creates a new sales order on your Oracle EBS system. Since the sales order is a forms model, we will be using the forms recorder that we have here on our studio pane. So let's start by launching the forms recorder. And now we will press on the start recording button. And the first thing we would be needing to do is to put here the link of the form that we want to start the recording with, which is in our case, the sales order form. So we just paste it. And this will invoke the forms UI and get us directly through the sales order form. So just to make it easy for us, we will put it side by side. We will put the UI of the EBS system that we want to record, the flow that we want to record on the right side. And we will put our recorder on the left side to see how it captures in the background all the actions that we are doing. So we start the flow and do it as any user is doing it. And we will start by putting in the credentials. And as you can see on the left, every action that I'm doing is automatically being recorded. Any, any field that I'm typing in a value into it will automatically become an input. So we can see here the credentials. And of course, any actions that I'm doing is also being captured, like pressing uh, any key or pressing buttons uh, on the UI. So now we will just put a few mandatory uh, fields. We will fill a few mandatory fields that we need to enter for creating a new sales order. We will put the customer name. We will put the order type. And we will go to the line items and add one line. So here I will just choose one of the items that I have in my system set it for quantity one and also change its unit price so it will also become a, an input parameter and the last thing i will do is just to press the save button here to create the sales order and please note the message down here on the status message bar the frm 4400 transaction complete we will capture that automatically as well and we will be able to use it for an extra validation and the last thing I will do in the process of recording this flow is to go back to the order information and get a few output parameters out of this flow. And the most important parameter that I want to capture is the order number that was just created. So to do that, all I need to do is just to focus on the field and it will become an output parameter. In the same way, I can focus on other fields and they will also become output parameters for the flow. We can see here on the left side that they are all captured as output parameters. We have another option and it is to press the store parameters button here. In this case, it will capture all the fields that are currently being displayed and set them as output parameters. And that's it. I've just finished to record the flow. Now I want to create an API out of it. So what I would do is just go here to the recorder and press the save workflow button. Now I'll just give it a name. I'll maximize it for better view. And you can see here the new API that was created for me. We can see here the service name that was created for me. We can see here the form URL that we used to get into this form. And if we scroll down a little bit, you will be able to see here the input parameters that were captured 
during the recording process we can see here the credential the customer the order type and they all have its default values the values that i've typed in during the recording of course i can remove these values and later on when i will play it back i can uh, just put any value that i want and replace it and if i scroll down a little bit more you can see here the, all the output parameters that we have marked during the recording you can see here the order number and a few more fields that we set or marked as output uh, values and the last thing i would do is i would add an additional validation to this api if you remember correctly uh, i've asked you to note the status message bar so you can see here that we are automatically adding all the pop-up messages that popped up during the recording session the status message bars and any error that trace during the capture and we can rely on the return values and add extra validations for example i can say that i want to make sure that on the status message var i got the frm 4400 which indicates that the sales order was created successfully so to do that i would just press here on the uh, verifications button and say that i want this api to fail if the status message bar does not contain the FRM 4400, which is the status that I expect to find on the status message bar when everything goes well. And that's it, my API is ready. I can press the create service button here. And I have a new API ready for me. The API is a REST API and it can be invoked from any REST client. This is the URL that can be used to invoke this service. And here are the inputs parameters and the output parameters as we have displayed before. Now let's just test it. We can just run it from here. So I'll just play the, I'll just press the test button here. We can change any of the values here. Let's change the quantity to three, for example, and the price to 30. And I'll press the run test button. Now it, the API will invoke the UI flow that we've just recorded perform perform it on the EBS test system and get back to us with the results you can see that it was succeeded you can see here that a new a new order number that was created for us you can also see that on the status menu message bar we got the FRM 4400 which means that the our validation was successful so let's just verify that we have this sales order on our system I just copy it go to my EBS system and try to find this new sales order that was created for me. And here it is. <clears throat> you can see here that we have here with the quantity tree and the unit price 30, which are which were the values that we have changed. And just one last thing, let's see what happens if I put here if val invalid values. Let, let's put here a customer that does not exist. Put here just any value and now I will run the test it will invoke the flow on the EBS and of course the EBS will reject it and I will see here that it failed and I can also see here on the pop-up message what was the issue this is a pop-up message that was displayed on the EBS test system and I, we capture it and of course get it back as an output customer AA does not found so this is why the create sales order failed If you want to create a more complex automation flow on top of your Oracle uh, EBS system or Oracle form system, a flow that will include few invocations of different APIs, uh, maybe use conditions, loop, manipulations of file, etc. You can use our RPA manager to do that. In our RPA manager, you will have a visual editor that will enables you to create such a flow with all the invocation and the business logic that you want to add to it. This is our visual editor. This is the top of the RPA. If I press here the plus sign, you will be able to see the available building blocks that you may use inside your RPA flow. The most basic building block is calling a service. A service is an API that you have already recorded and already exists in your system. So you can add here as many services as you want. Uh, one after the other you may uh, take some outputs of one service and pass them as an input to the next service etc 
you can you you can invoke any external service which is any <coughs> sorry rest api that you have to other system so if you want to integrate and invoke apis on different system you can also add it here as an external service you can use conditions you can send ma mails you can manipulate files you can iterate over data or you can add any business logic using our javascript uh, building block so this flow that you see right now is a simple example of an rpa flow that creates a sales order which reads its order line from a csv file so this is the csv file it's just presented as an excel but it's a simple csv file and this automation flow will get into the system it will create the sales order header here we demo a little bit of an error handling we say here that if the creation of the order will fail then i will send an, an error mail if not i will continue and then i will loop over this csv file that is that i will get as an input parameter add line per each of the lines on the csv file and by the end of it of course i will save the er the order and send a mail with the new order number that was created for me so this is an example of how such an automation flow looks like and once you have this automation flow it will be published also as a rest api that can be invoked from any rest client uh, explicitly in an attended way if you want you also have the option to run any rpa that you create with the rpa manager also in an unattended way for that we have the rpa triggers we have two types of rpa triggers we have the scheduled and the email trigger the scheduled a uh, trigger will enable you to run rpa on a schedule basis that's it every day on specific hour every uh, on specific date of the month etc and the email trigger will enable you to send an email with special format to a, a, mailbox, a mailbox that was configured on our service manager and once this mail will be sent it will be processed and do the automation flow that you have defined inside your rpa and usually will get back to you with a confirmation mail saying how how it how it went let's see how we can send an email to our system that will invoke the rpa of creating a sales order with an with a mail so for that i I will show you how I create such a mail and send it to our system. This is my mail system. So I'll just create a new mail. Let's enlarge it like this. And to send a mail that was configured to be processed by an RPA, I would need to send it to a specific mailbox that was configured with our Oracle Service Manager. This is the mailbox where our service manager will listen to and each mail that it will get into this mailbox will be processed. So how would it, how would the service manager know what RPA to invoke? For that we are defining spe special template that says to the service manager if you get a mail with this specific details know that you need to invoke this spe specific RPA. So in our case the template that we set for this mail is a special subject we say that if you get a mail saying that create sales order for then you need to create a sales order for the customer that is specifies specified right after the first word the first keywords that we just saw so i'm setting here the special subject and now i will also add the CSV file that I want to add as the order lines. So I'll just put here, attach here the file, the relevant part, the CSV file that I want to use for the lines. This is the, the CSV file that I'm attaching. And now all I need to do is just suppress the send button, of course. And while waiting for this mail to be processed and get back a confirmation mail, or the result mail back from the system, I will create another mail just to show you the error handling, what happens if I'm sending uh, wrong details. So let's put here, let's send it to the same mailbox 
And now on the subject, let's put a customer that does not exist on, a, on my system. I will also include the file in the same way. And send it and I expect this mail to fail so I've sent it and by the time that and by the time that I've created it we already got the response from the previous mail this was the mail with the correct details so you can see here that a new order was created for this request this is the order number let's take it and let's also verify it on our system <clears throat> so I'll go to my Oracle EBS system and look for the order that I've just got through the mail go to the line items and you can see here I've created this sales order these are the lines that I got that I was read fr read from the file we can put it side by side you can see these are the same details so every everything went okay and now let's get back to my mailbox and you can see that I've got another mail. This is for the mail that I've sent with the fault details. And you can see that it says, fail to create sales order. And I can also see here the issue that I got the failure for. The customer AAA was not found. So this is just a demo to show you how you can use our RPA with email integration to uh, invoke automation flow on your system. Thank you very much.